Right guys, about to get the Viper out here. About to load her up. Got the shotgun in there. Got a new 10 round mag we're gonna try out. Then we're gonna do a full tear down of this thing. All right guys, so uh, got the Bulldog back out here. Uh, this is the ATI uh, 12 gauge bullpup shotgun. Uh, we got our 10 round mag in. And uh, this was not the one exactly for this gun. This was just another Turkish 10 round mag. And it actually matches like perfectly <laughs> to the other one. So it, it should work great. But this was like 1999 uh, on classic firearms. I'm not sure they got any more of these left, but uh, uh, pretty cool. Um, so I've had a few of y'all asking for a teardown video. So we're gonna do that too. Um, but I wanted to shoot this and just see how it works. and. Uh, Went ahead and stuck uh, the other mag up here uh, as the foregrip. It's kind of ugly, uh, but it is comfortable. So, uh, but if you haven't seen in the first video of this, when we first introduced it, uh, click right here and check that out. Uh, so on this video, uh, should be pretty cool. So, there we go, look at that. That's pretty mean looking. There we go. All right. So this is the quick mag change. <laughs> Not very quick. Not very quick. <laughs> oh yeah, only had three in there. There we go. That's it. Uh, so the 10 round mag worked well and uh, so does the original, so. Uh, now we can clean it, tear it apart. All right, guys, we got the gun in here and we're gonna go through the full disassembly here. These are the tools that come with it. We got the book that comes with it. Um, the first thing we need to do is drop the mag. We press the button there, pull the mag out, set it off to the side. Next thing we wanna do is pull the cheek crest off and loosen it all the way up. Bolt out of that. This spreads over stock. Goes off the side. The next thing we gotta do is pull these pins out of here. There's three pins that, that bolt us together, um, just like an AR, except for an AR has two. This one's just a little bit longer of a receiver. You can push those down. Okay. And these do not come all the way out. If you pull them hard enough, they will come all the way out, but you don't need to. They have a little stop on them, and that's the inside of the gun, so you can get in there clean all that and even though we probably put 50 something rounds through here or more this looks really clean down there so we set that off to the side now and the next thing we want to do is take off the barrel nut this you just grab this and this is just a, a fake barrel nut it's got a little detent in it it'll just unscrew pull up off the barrel there's that next thing is to pull off this front part, the shroud here. Squeaky.
All right, guys, so we got these screws out. Um, now you start to take this off. You gotta be real careful so that you don't scratch up the end of your barrel. This is just the cover. And then this has all of your uh, mechanisms in here. You get your automatic weapon there. This allows it to keep firing. That's where your charging handle would connect to. And this is as, really as far down as you need to clean. This gets you down uh, all the way in the chamber there. You can clean all this really good without tearing it all the way apart. You can follow the instructions and go all the way down, pull the barrel out and uh, use your spanner to pull this off. Uh, but this, this gets you plenty far in here to clean um, deeper than you might normally go. So this should be fine. So that's it. Putting it back together is all of that in reverse. So start with the cover, slide it back on, everything back together, and you should be good to go. All right, guys. Appreciate it.